the New England Patriots are a 1-0 and football team. Let's go, baby! What up, what up, everybody? It's the Rottweiler Patriots. I'm Vegas. And I'm T-Bone. And welcome, everybody, to our first Patriots recap of the season. It's our week one recap for the New England Patriots. And we're super excited, or at least I am, because the New England Patriots defeated the Cincinnati Bengals. This one was an absolute slugfest, a battle of the trenches that New England won for most of the game, and that was a big reason why they won the game. They were also really, really good at not turning the football over. Not the most efficient offensively, but they didn't need to be. They just needed to not turn the ball over and put some points on the board, which was more than what last year's team can do. And look at us against a good team here like Cincinnati. T-Bone, I want to get your early thoughts on this. Good job, Patriots. You did it. Uh, for those of you who are new to our channel, he's a Panthers fan. We will have our Panthers video released tomorrow, so if you want to see his reaction to that, go for it. But he is understandably not in the best mood. But, taking a look at how this game went, first drive, Bengals go three and out, Patriots defense to take care of business. Second drive, Patriots able to get a few plays going, get a couple of first downs, didn't... Ended up having to punt the ball away. Cincinnati goes three and out again. And the New England gets the ball and puts together a 14-play, 80-yard touchdown drive that took almost half of the first quarter off the clock. Seven minutes, 20 seconds. And just an absolute clinic by New England. Winning the battles in the trenches. Stevenson absolutely Excellent performance today. 25 attempts, 120 yards, one touchdown, 4.8 yards per carry. Excellent job from the back. Back to his form a couple years ago where he did get 1,000 yards and 5 yards a carry. Bengals go 3 and out again on their next drive as the Patriots defense continue to dominate. Patriots went 3 and out on their following drive, punted the ball away. Then the Bengals finally able to put together a good offensive drive, get down. Look like it's going to be a touchdown, but oh no, celebrates too early. Kyle Duggar punches the ball out. Marcus Jones picks it up, takes it the other way, gets it out to the 18-yard line, which is where New England would take over and get a 12-play, 68-yard drive to take off all remaining 5 minutes and 9 seconds to go into the half up 10 nothing. A perfect first half from New England, in my opinion, did everything they needed to do. Took care of the football, got points on the board, forced turnovers, kept Bengals off the board, which is hard to do. This is a good Bengals offense. And the Patriots honestly handled a tough Cincinnati defense really well. Patriots got the ball out at the end to start the second half. First play, first drive, 3 and out, punted the ball, and then... Long snapper Joey Cardona forces the fumble on the return, recovered by Jalen Hawkins, and the Patriots get another shot at it, where they end up going three and out and kicking a field goal anyway, but that did increase the Pats' lead to 13. The next drive, Bengals got some momentum going, got into Patriots' territory, chose to go for it on fourth down, and a nice play by Jonathan Jones. It was fourth and two. Burrow threw a screen to the right side. Ball was caught. And Jonathan Jones came flying in and stopped him. A brilliant tackle. Open field. If he doesn't make the play, it's a first down for Cincinnati. A huge game changer. Big momentum changer. Patriots did go three and out on the next drive. And the Bengals were finally able to piece together a touchdown. But by that point, it was getting pretty later in the game. Patriots, their next drive, respond with a field goal to go up by nine. The Bengals respond with a field goal of their own to cut it to six. The Patriots would putt the ball on their next drive and then force a huge three and out for Cincinnati. They really never let Cincinnati get going except for maybe two drives, two or three drives. And they stopped them and took the ball away on two of those drives. So the New England Patriots defense 
Incredible. Did really, really well down in the trenches. Able to get pressure on Joe Burrow. Make him uncomfortable. Took away the big plays. Forced a lot of stuff underneath. You see Joe Burrow, 21 for 29. You think really good. Only 164 passing yards. Zero touchdowns. Would have had one if it weren't for the premature celebration by Hudson. But either way, the New England Patriots took advantage of the opportunities that they defense give them and able to outplay and outlast a tough Bengals team. I'm super proud of the way this team played. Jacoby Brissett did his job, didn't turn the ball over. It looked comfortable. Had a few scrambles as well on third downs that kept drives going. A couple of key plays for him there. I thought his pocket presence was really good. His decision-making was pretty good. He had only one b bad throw, in my opinion, and that was under pressure trying to make a play. Almost got intercepted, but... Hunter Henry made sure that didn't happen, and the Patriots were able to still get a field goal on that drive. Austin Hooper, a couple of nice grabs. I like seeing him out there. Thornton with a couple of good plays. Same with Osborne. Polk did get one catch. Ramondre Stevenson, the story of the offense for me. The offensive line, I thought, looked pretty good in the running game. They won the trench battle well. Pass protection could have been better, but I actually think they handled it well. The Bengals brought a lot of pressure. They did a lot of blitz, so that's part of it. But Brissett did an excellent job not taking a sack, maneuvering in the pocket, getting the ball out quickly, throwing it away when he needed to, taking care of it all, and scrambling when he had to. And I'm going to say this. I think if Drake May was the quarterback for the Patriots today, we would have lost this football game because Drake May would have stepped into a lot of that pressure and had him screw up throws, which would have led to picks. He would not have had the pocket presence, the pocket wherewithal, the pocket movement, the feel to move into the right places, either make the throw or scramble out. He would have been sacked a few times. He may have been picked at some point. I really do believe that that is the case. So I think having Brissett in over May is one of the reasons why we won this football game. And now you look at the defense. The defense Dominant in the trenches. Jawan Bentley, half a sack, 12 tackles. Keon White, two and a half sacks, four tackles. He was an absolute menace for the Bengals' offensive line. An excellent, excellent job. They did a really good job stuffing the run, stopping Zach Moss. He did get going a little bit late, but by the time he had gotten going... The Bengals were down two scores and needed to score quickly, so they couldn't really give it to him and grind out those yards. So by the time the Bengals had figured out the trench battle, it was too late, and they had to turn to the passing game, which we defended really well. Christian Gonzalez, my man, held Jamar Chase to only 62 yards, completely dominated the battle with him all day. Every time Chase got the ball, it's because... He had to make a little short underneath catch, and then he may have gotten some yak. But the Patriots in general, no big plays. Do not give up big plays. Kept the Bengals in front of them, said, throw it short. And then as soon as the ball was thrown short, two, three guys were on him quickly, making a tackle. And that was really, really effective. The Bengals could not get chunk yardage. If they wanted to score, they had to chip at it and chip at it and work for it. And it was great defensive strategy and well executed by everybody. Shout out to Kyle Duggar for recognizing the mistake from Hudson, forcing the fumble. Marcus Jones scooped it up, had a nice return on the play. Excellent job overall by the defense all around. Very, very happy. Kept a very good offense in Cincinnati at bay and gave the Patriots a chance to win, which they pulled off. Tebow, and I want to get your thoughts overall. Pats are doing what they need to do. I would say they're leaning more on their defense than their offense. They're trusting their offense not to screw up, not to make crazy, you know, highlight real plays, but just doing, you know, what you need to do. And that's exactly what they should do. Uh, I think Gerard Mayo coached them very well. Good, good first uh, rookie coach game. I think of the first win since uh, 1991 that a rookie head coach has had. For the um, New England Patriots, I do believe so. Yes. So, um, I, I'm i high on K.J. Osborne. I think he's a great depth piece, and I think, you know, despite the few receptions and yards, I think he will prove to be a very valuable asset. I think Ramondre Stevenson having a definitive, being the definitive number one option and truly being completely uninjured has helped him. 
Brissett, obviously, this is nothing new for him. It's perfectly fine. You can tell by the time of possession, you know, nearly ten minute difference. You know, they knew, they never had a you know never had a uh, never had a problem particularly. They just did what they needed to do. Um, I think the Bengals are better than how they played. I think they're just. I'm just at this point. I'm thinking they're just lazy. The first few weeks, they're just a lazy franchise because you know, the first four weeks they just seem to have hiccups and stuff. So better to have them in the beginning, but still, uh, very good master class by the defense. Christian Gonzalez, while not on the list, was um, was very much a a valuable asset because you don't need to make big you know big plays or big interceptions. If you can just hold a guy down, that's what you need to do, and that's what he did. So I think the Patriots did exactly what they needed to do, and because of that, they won. Absolutely. The Patriots put together a really good game plan and executed it very well, and I think you're going to see a lot of New England Patriot games look very, very similar to this one because the Patriots' defense is going to be smothering, and it is going to not give up the big play, and it is going to say, you want to beat us, you really got to work through us, and you got to make those short yardage plays, and get that yak, and break tackles, and it's going to be hard, because we got some dogs on the defensive side of the ball, and the offense is going to pound the rock, do what they got to do, score the points that are needed, take advantage of the opportunities the defense gives them, it ain't, bit, it ain't exciting, it ain't flashy, but it gets the job done. And speaking of getting the job done, we've got up next week in Gillette Stadium, the Seattle Seahawks. Want to talk about that game before we head out here. The New England Patriots hosting the Seahawks in Gillette Stadium, Foxborough, Massachusetts, next Sunday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I think just the fact alone that they face a West Coast team at 1 in the afternoon will heavily favor the New England Patriots. I think generally West Coast teams that have to play on the East Coast at 1 o'clock are at a disadvantage, and so I think that that's a big thing for New England. And if they can play like they did here against Cincinnati, against Seattle, I think they're going to have a lot of success. And I very much think that the Seattle Seahawks, though they're probably going to have a better defense than... Cincinnati had today, although I will say Cincinnati was one of the better fronts we're going to face, so if we can run the ball the way we did today every week, we're going to have a lot of success, especially against teams with fronts not as good as Cincinnati's, but I think Seattle has a really good defensive head coach in Mike McDonald. I trust the pieces that he has, so I think Seattle's going to make it difficult for us, but I do think that we actually have a solid shot of winning that one, especially if we play like we did today. Brissett, just take care of the football. Stevenson can run the ball. It can open things up. Defense, I think we'll have an easier time because the Seahawks do not have the same quality on offense that the Bengals do. If we can shut down Kenneth Walker and the Seahawks running game and force Geno to throw the ball, I think that bodes really, really well for us. So it's going to be another battle of the trenches on both sides of the ball. I think that's going to be the story of the New England Patriots season. And if we can win the trench battles like we did this week, I think we're going to have a lot of success. T-Bone, your thoughts on next week's matchup versus Seattle? None. You said it best. All righty then. I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Super proud of the guys this week. So excited to see what they've got in store for us next week. Cannot wait. So, yeah, please be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. We would love to hear what you all have to say. And that is going to do it for us today. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button. Please be sure to subscribe. And we will see you all in the next video.